Prayer is the second pillar of Islam and is mandatory on every adult and sane Muslim. Children should be taught the prayer when they reach the age of seven. Prayer should be performed promptly, perfectly, sincerely and regularly at the appointed hour by a Muslim, who must keep it up under all conditions. Even in times of travelling and sickness, it must be observed with full humility. If you are physically not able to stand and pray, you can sit and pray. And if you are physically not able to sit and pray, you may pray lying down. To start the prayer, you must first check if you have met the preconditions for the prayer. 1. Cleanliness from impurities on the body, clothes and place of prayer. 2. Performing ablution. 3. Covering the body. A male should cover what is between the navel and the knees. The shoulder should also be covered. A female should cover her whole body, except her face and hands. 4. Facing in the direction of the Qibla. 5. Each prayer must be performed at or during its proper time. 6. Intention of prayer. This is an act of the heart and has nothing to do with the tongue. You must be aware of which prayer you are about to pray and clear your mind from anything that is not related to the prayer and not rush and hurry through your prayer, but try to do your best to perfect it. Stand up straight, body and feet facing in the direction of the Qibla. Your feet must be in a comfortable position, not too close together and not too far apart. They should be about shoulder width apart. Have the intention of which prayer you are about to pray. Do not forget, this is an act of the heart and not the tongue. To start the prayer, raise your hands with your fingers slightly spread apart, level with your shoulders or near to your earlobes while saying the takbir. When your hands reach the level of your shoulders, your palms should be facing the Qibla. Allahu Akbar. Then, hold your left wrist with your right hand and place them on your chest, just above your elbow. Your index and middle finger flat on your wrist and pointing towards your left elbow. Here are some different, correct positions on how to place your hands. Lower your head and fix your eyes on the place of prostration. Your eyesight does not leave the place of prostration during the prayer, apart from one point, which we will explain later. So focus and do not look around. Now recite silently the following opening supplication. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, wa tabarak asmuk, wa ta'ala jadduk, wa la ilaha ghayruk. Now recite the Bismillah. This should always be recited silently during the prayer. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Now recite the opening chapter of the Quran. This chapter is recited in every rakat of the prayer. Your prayer is not accepted if you do not. This should be recited silently or aloud, depending on your prayer. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'een Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem Sirat Al-Ladheena An'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. Then recite any other chapter from the Quran, whether short or long or any other part of a chapter. Don't forget to start off with the Bismillah. The Bismillah is always recited silently. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد
When reciting the Quran silently, make sure you move your lips and tongue. Do not rush your recitation and pause at the end of each verse. After completing your recitation, you should now pause for a moment, then raise your hands while saying the takbir, as it was done at the beginning of the prayer, and then bow. Allahu Akbar With your legs straight, bend your back and place your hands firmly on your knees, with your fingers spread apart. Your back should be flat and level with your head. Your eyes should still be fixed on the place of prostration. And now recite silently. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Rise back up to a standing position while raising your hands up to your shoulders while saying, Sami Allah Huliman Hamida. In the standing position, lower your hands down to your sides and then say, Rabbana walaka alhamd. Remain standing for a period similar to that of your bowing. It is also permissible to place your hands on your chest as in the beginning of the prayer, instead of lowering them down to your sides. Then say the takbir and go down into prostration. Place your knees to the ground first followed by your hands, then forehead, and the tip of your nose. Allahu Akbar In prostration, the following body parts should touch the ground. The base of your toes on both feet, both knees, both hands, your forehead and nose. Nose and forehead touching the ground. Hands should be placed in line with your shoulders. Same width and level. Palms flat on the ground and not cupped. Fingers close together and pointing in the direction of the Qibla. Arms away from your sides, with arms and elbows lifted off the ground. Thighs must not touch your stomach. Base of your toes pressed down and pointing in the direction of the Qibla. Heels close together. Then silently say, Subhana Rabbi al A'la. Subhana Rabbi al A'la. Subhana Rabbi al A'la. The nearest the servant comes to his Lord is in prostration, so make as much supplication as you want in this position. Now raise your head from prostration while saying the takbir and sit on the floor. Allahu Akbar. While sitting, lay your left foot flat on the floor, sitting on it, and keep your right foot upright, with its toes pressed to the ground, pointing in the direction of the Qibla. Sit with your back straight and your hands resting flat on your lower thighs, with fingers reaching the knees, but not covering the whole knee. Then silently say, Rabbi ghfirli, Rabbi ghfirli. You can also sit on your heels in this position. You should make sitting between the two prostrations equal in duration to that of the prostration. Do not forget eyes still fixed to the ground. Now prostrate a second time while saying the takbir, repeating the same supplication and maintaining the same position, as described during the first prostration. Allahu Akbar Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Now, raise your head from prostration and sit very briefly on the floor. Then, while saying the takbir, stand up and place your hands on your chest, as described at the start of the prayer. Allahu Akbar. Now recite the Bismillah. This should always be recited silently during the prayer. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. 
Now recite the opening chapter of the Quran. This chapter is recited in every rakat of the prayer. Your prayer is not accepted if you do not. This should be recited silently or aloud, depending on your prayer. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladhin An'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. Then recite any other chapter from the Quran, whether short or long or any other part of a chapter. Don't forget to start off with the Bismillah. The Bismillah is always recited silently. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس When reciting the Quran silently, make sure you move your lips and tongue. Do not rush your recitation and pause at the end of each verse. After completing your recitation, you should now pause for a moment, then raise your hands while saying the takbir, as it was done at the beginning of the prayer, and then bow. Allahu Akbar With your legs straight, bend your back and place your hands firmly on your knees with your fingers spread apart. Your back should be flat and level with your head. Your eyes should still be fixed on the place of prostration. And now recite silently. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim Rise back up to a standing position while raising your hands up to your shoulders while saying In the standing position, lower your hands down to your sides and then say Remain standing for a period similar to that of your bowing. It is also permissible to place your hands on your chest as in the beginning of the prayer, instead of lowering them down to your sides. Then say the takbir and go down into prostration. Place your knees to the ground first, followed by your hands, then forehead and the tip of your nose. Allahu Akbar In prostration, the following body parts should touch the ground the base of your toes on both feet, both knees, both hands, your forehead and nose. Nose and forehead touching the ground. Hands should be placed in line with your shoulders, same width and level. Palms flat on the ground and not cupped. Fingers close together and pointing in the direction of the kibla. Arms away from your sides, with arms and elbows lifted off the ground. Thighs must not touch your stomach. Base of your toes pressed down and pointing in the direction of the kibla. Heels close together. Then silently say, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la The nearest the servant comes to his lord is in prostration, so make as much supplication as you want in this position. Now raise your head from prostration while saying the takbir and sit on the floor. Allahu Akbar While sitting, lay your left foot flat on the floor, sitting on it, and keep your right foot upright, 
with its toes pressed to the ground, pointing in the direction of the Kibla. Sit with your back straight and your hands resting flat on your lower thighs, with fingers reaching the knees, but not covering the whole knee. Then silently say, Rabbi ghfirli, Rabbi ghfirli. You can also sit on your heels in this position. You should make sitting between the two prostrations equal in duration to that of the prostration. Do not forget eyes still fixed to the ground. Now prostrate a second time while saying the takbir, repeating the same supplication and maintaining the same position as described during the first prostration. Allahu Akbar Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Now, raise your head from prostration while saying the takbir and sit in the same position as previously described. Allahu Akbar Place your left hand flat on your left thigh. Place your right hand on your right thigh. Make a loose fist of the right hand, forming a circle with the thumb and middle finger. Your index finger raised and slightly curved, pointing in the direction of the Qibla. And fix your sight on your right index finger. Another form of doing this is to clinch your right hand and point with the index finger towards the direction of the Qibla. The index finger should be slightly curved. Then silently say, At-tahiyyatu lillahi as-salawatu at-tayyibat. As-salamu alayka ayyuha al-nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As-salamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi as-salihin. Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Allahumma salli ala muhammad. وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم إني ظلمت نفسي ظلما كثيرا ولا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت فاغفر لي مغفرة من عندك وارحمني إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم Now to end the prayer, place your right hand flat on your thigh. Then turn your head to look over your right shoulder so that your cheek can be seen to those behind you while saying Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah And then turn your head to look over your left shoulder while saying Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah Your prayer is now complete. Do not forget your supplications after your prayer.